to the 2019-2020 Fayetteville Perry High School Winter Athletic Awards Ceremony. This is Angela Murphy, your District Athletic Director. Our banquet was scheduled for March 17th, but due to COVID-19, we could not reschedule an in-person banquet. So here we go with our first online ceremony. I would like to start out with some thank yous. Thank you to the Board of Education, Superintendent Tim Collier, and Principal Mr. Rodney Wallace for their support and guidance. To Mr. Goshe and our bus drivers for their planning and safe traveling of our student athletes to and from games. Before we recognize the athletes and teams, I would like to offer some special thank yous to the people who are important to the operation of the fall athletic programs. Our scorekeepers, Jerry Smith, Rachel Meyer, and Kathy Malone, and all those who filled in in their absence. Our main clock keeper, Angie Noble, for her dedication to be there night after night. Also to our announcer, Chad Noble, for his great enthusiasm, and Mr. Todd Kaufman, who also announced this season. A huge shout out and thank you to our fall site supervisor, Ms. Sharon Sheets, for her relentless care and enthusiasm working with our athletics department. I appreciated Sharon's attentiveness to detail. She was always there making sure everything was ready. With this being my first year in this position, it was great to have someone like her working with me. She has decided not to work at this position next year and she will be greatly missed. Thank you again, Sharon, for everything. Another thank you goes to Connor Coyne, our athletic trainer, for caring for our injuries and getting our athletes back on the court as quickly as possible. With that, let's start with our first team, high school bowling. High school bowling coach, Miss Tanya Alexander. Hi, I'm Tanya Alexander. I am the bowling coach for Fayetteville uh, High School. Um, this is a little bit different this year. We're not standing in the auditorium slash cafetorium, so um, we're here out in the open due to COVID. Um, but it'll be uh, pretty short, sweet, and simple. Um, I'm going to let you guys know a little bit about my uh, team and who we had. Um, first of all, I want to thank Linda McConaughey for um, helping me out this year. She did an amazing job being an assistant coach for me. So thank you, Linda, for everything you did for me and the kids. Um, to start out, I do have three seniors who did an amazing job this year. Uh, Nathan Kingus, Aiden Dye, and Trevor Bailey. Great group of boys. Um, stepped up really well for me uh, throughout the season and um, really appreciate everything they did. Um, some of my other kids that I had on the team, just real quick, I had Caitlin Steele. Wyatt Meeker, uh, Jay James, Michaela Derricks, Landon Stannis, um, Jackson Aubrey, and Kyle Meeker. Um, mixed them up a little bit, used them on varsity and reserve at times, so um, overall they did a great job for me. Um, I'm going to make a quick rundown here of some few awards that uh, were given out this year. Um, for the highest award uh, for the girls, Caitlin Steele. Um, she had the highest average for the girls. Uh, Wyatt Meeker came in at high there for the highest average. Um, Rocket Award um, is uh, something I do believe was new this year. So Aiden Dye, a.k.a. Billy, um, if you all know Billy. Um, so we gave Billy that nickname as well um, on and off the football field in bowling. Um, Jay James as well comes out with the Rocket Award for the girls. Um, most improved, Miss Michaela Derrick. She did a great job, girl. I appreciate all that you did and uh, the team effort on that. Um, most improved for boys, Landon Stannis. Um, a little funny thing with Landon. Very first day he gets up there with a the bowling ball, guys. He looks at me, throws the ball, walks away, didn't even look um, to turn around and have an amazing season um, and played a few varsity matches. So um, um, great job, Landon. I appreciate all the effort. Um, highest game, um, which is, um, they bowled uh, three games, usually some two, so that is just one of the games of which was the highest. Um, Caitlin Steele for the girls um, had her highest game, and then Wyatt Meeker um, had a high game, and that came in the district um, semifinal match. Um, and Wyatt, um, you also um, are awarded 
a uh, district award for being uh, the 2020 District 2 Southwest District 8th overall individual with a 623 series. So um, with that being said, uh, this was our third year total. Um, Wyatt went to state uh, with that series and did an amazing job there. So um, keep up the good work. Um, along with everybody else. With losing my three seniors, um, I really need some more people. So if you guys know of anybody um, that wants to come along and bowl, I'm sure these guys would be great mentors to teach some of your um, neighbor kids, your own kids, if you got any other kids. So um, with that being said, I appreciate all the time and effort uh, for letting me have your kids this season. And um, we'll see you again next year. Bye. High school winter cheerleading coach, Miss Connie Snyder. Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying your time off. Hate that we have to, um, that we can't be together for this, but Tiffany and I are here to give you your high school basketball um, cheerleading awards. Um, first off, there's a few people that I'd like to thank. Um, Tiffany for being my assistant coach. She was a choreographer for both, um, for the uh, dances and the stunts. She did an amazing job. The girls really worked well with her, so I really appreciate that. Plus, she was my rock throughout the year. Um, next, Angela Murphy. Angela helped us find places to practice, um, kept us up to date on any changes, and was just supported us on everything, and I really appreciate that. Rodney Wallace. Um, Rodney was, let's, he supported us and let us do things, even though he wasn't too sure about how they were going to turn out, but went along with us, and we really appreciate that. DJ and the basketball staff for bearing with us and letting us try new things, things that they had never heard of before, but they went along with it anyways. Um, we're still going to work on that donkey basketball game and putting DJ on a donkey. Um, Mr. Collier and the school board for their support and letting us have building and mounting back this year. Um, the girls had a great time with it, loved it. Um, this was probably the most excited they have been to start out the year, so we really appreciate that. Um, this was a um, this was a learning year for all of us um, with the stunts and the building and learning new things. Um, these girls did stunts that colleges were doing um, and they did them um, they did them great. Um, we couldn't have been more happy with the turnout of them and we really appreciate it. They went home um, bruised and sore and tired but they all said that it was worth it when it was done. So we really appreciate all that. Um, not only did we start out with stunning and building for the first time and worked on that, they also learned three dance routines this year. The last one they learned in three days. Um, and the day of the performance, they um, even had some injuries and some illnesses. So the day of the performance, we had to redo a lot of the dance, but they still pulled it off. So um, we're really proud of them for that. We're gonna start off with a JV. Um, first off is Megan Connors. Um, Megan is just, um, I don't really know what to say. Megan is always got a smile on her face. Um, she's always willing to do whatever we need her to do. The beginning of the year, she was a little uh, freaked out about going up in the air and flying and stuff, but by the middle of the year, she was like, okay, let's try it. Let's go, let's do it. Um, so we really appreciate um, all the hard work that she did. Nico Crawford, this was his first year at cheering, um, and he did an excellent job. Um, he was, he worked hard. He was um, excited about everything, um, especially the megaphone. He absolutely loved the megaphone, and he did an amazing job at doing that. Um, so we're really proud of Nico. Uh, Lexi Derricks, Lexi Derricks came back to us um, after a couple years off, I think. Um, couldn't have been happier to have her back. Uh, Lexi um, 
gave her gave 100% tried um, she would race home really fast from work and get there in a short period of time which I do not know how she made it half of the time but she always made it on time um, she even brought us um, the uh, the stuff for the, the uh, float, which we even got to enjoy while we were building the float. So we really appreciate that. Haley Dozier, um, our only freshman coming in this year, Haley did an amazing job. Um, she picked up on things quick, um, always was volunteering to do things, always willing to go the extra mile. Um, she improved so much from the beginning to the end um, and we cannot wait to see what she brings to next year um, robin hodges robin was probably our go-to girl um, robin was always there early she was always willing to stay late uh, robin would do anything that we asked her to do um, no matter what it was never complained I'm, i don't even think she ever missed a practice so Robin um, did an excellent job this year. Uh, Zoe Jacobs, she was a uh, newcomer this year also. Um, she came from a different school, which is kind of hard to do um, because you have to learn all new stuff, um, all new cheers, uh, the way that we do things. Um, I know during basketball, we do things a little bit different than the rest of the school and it's a little bit, um, the let outs and everything, all the girls had to learn a new let out for each game. So she picked up on that really quick and always had a smile on her face when she was doing it. Really fast paced. Really fast paced and she went right along with it. Lily Zinspeister, this was her first year cheering and she, I can't say enough about Lily. Um, Lily was, always had a smile on her face, always willing to do whatever we needed her to do. If we needed her to fill in for somebody, she was always willing to fill in. Um, she improved so much from the beginning to the end of the season. Um, she's working on her back walkovers and back handsprings, um, which we will get next some, next season. Um, so the awards for uh, the JV are most versatile. This is somebody who, um, no matter where we put them, they're willing to go and they pick it up just like that. Constantly, um, moving, constantly moving on. If we need them to do base, they'll base. If we need them to back spot, they back spot. Um, the only thing I don't think she did was be a flyer. I don't think she was a flyer this year. But she's willing to do anything, so our most versatile goes to Lily Zinspeister. Um, the Rocket Award. Um, I couldn't say enough about her. Um, like I said, never missed a practice. Always showed up early. Always stayed late. Was willing to do whatever we needed her to do. Um, and that is Robin Hodges. Really held together the JV squad. Um, yeah, she, and if she, we ever needed her, she was always the one during the varsity game. Well, m most of the time, she was the one that was on the sideline cheering with the varsity. So, um, except for, um, well, no, she she was always there, so we were always really proud of her. Say, I don't know. <laughs> no, um, our all around um, this kind of thing goes between varsity and JV. Um, this girl, if we needed her on varsity, she was on varsity. We needed her on JV, she was on JV. She was our kind of foot girl. Um, if we needed a flyer, Maybe she flew. Um, if we she was really? always willing to do whatever we needed her to do. Yeah. Um, Would even, let me stay after to try new things. With yes. Me. Always wanted to work hard. Same old work. So we were really proud. So our all around um, goes to Megan Connors. Um, for our varsity, we have first up is Emma Attinger. Um, can't say enough about Emma. Always knew when she was there. Um, always the very always first thing you would hear would be. Room. Tiffany or Connie! I don't think I've so, ever heard my name yelled to me. <laughs> and always had a smile on her face. Um, Emma was, um, she got sick at the end, um, so it was kind of hard on her. But Emma was always willing to do what we needed her to do and always had a smile on her face. And no matter if we had a serious moment, Emma would be the one that would oh my God, make, it, make us laugh. So. Um, we cannot wait to have her back next year. Anna Bryan. Anna is one of the toughest 
Um, her and Lily Nichols are two one two of the toughest girls we had. Oh um, my gosh. They were our guinea pigs for pretty much everything. Um, but Anna was always smiling. She yeah. um, was always willing to do whatever. And we just cannot wait to help her. make up things. Yes, she was always willing to help us out with new cheers. And, and uh, her and Lily kind of surprised us during the um, cheer camp because they decided they were gonna do everything on their own and they did an amazing job yeah, with that. Uh, Ashley Bush, Ashley Bush wasn't with us last year and we missed her. Um, she came back this year. Ashley was another person that was always willing to do anything. Um, she loved to go up, but she was so nervous to come down. Um, yeah. That was when she would always freak out when we were like, okay, time to drop. One of the stunts I really pushed for this year was a live and they couldn't get it, which was understandable because it was their very first year and I kept pushing them for it. And at the end of the season, I finally talked her into going up there and doing a live and she, we got it and it was so exciting. She did a really good job. Yeah, so we're really gonna miss Ashley. Yeah. Um, Abby Deitch. Abby's another one. Um, they got more comfortable oh as the year went by. Um, and she was one of the ones, the last um, performance that we did, she was the one that we're like, okay, Abby, you gotta fly. Yeah. And she was like, what? Surprise. Um, we need you in the air. She got in there, she did it. She did an amazing job and we couldn't be prouder. Um, Brianna Fay. Brianna Fay was another one. Um, we had a lot stuck of smiling us, kids. Stuck with us for four years. Yes. Um, which is a big achievement. Brianna cheered over four years. Um, she was, she improved. Um, she got more outgoing her senior year, um, which is, we could be more prouder of Brie. Another flyer. never tell us she was hurt. You just had to read her face. The only thing about Brianna is you definitely read her face. <laughs> um, so we're going to miss her. Izzy Green, um, never knew what to expect oh from Izzy. She um, would make you laugh at the most like weirdest times. And she would have a serious face on her and then you would go to say something and she would say something and you would just crack up laughing and yeah. that's just what Izzy surprised us at the end of the year yes. and came up with moves and stuff. And yes, um, really nice. so we're going to expect that out of you again next year. Yeah. Skylar Holiday. Skylar was our all out, Stomper. give it 100%. Stomper. Um, our floors are going to miss you next year. Yeah. Um, also stuck with us for four years. Yes, she was another one that was with us for cheer for all four years. Um, Skylar was always the one that we couldn't find her. She was either eating, oh my gosh, or um, on the floor with the JV. Um, Ava got mad at us a few times because we were like, okay, Skylar, you gotta sit down. JV's gotta get their self out of gotta let them. You gotta stop like being a mother to them. And let them, go <laughs> let, on them their own. let them do their own thing. So we're gonna miss her. Samantha Mahanes. Um, she is another one that we are really going to miss. She came back to us um, this year. Um, Samantha was our true leader when it came to back spots. Um, she did knew, a really good job back spotting. Picked it quick. She knew what she was doing. We surprised her at the end of the year and had her fly so that we had all yes. senior flyers. And she loved that. She did a really good job. Um, she was one, if one group was having a hard time, she'd go to that group while we worked with another group to help them out with their back spots. So, um, Samantha, you did an amazing job on that. Lily Nichols, um, we kind of mentioned her a little bit when we talked about Anna. Lily was another one that we are trying to bring out of her shell, um, which halfway through the year, she did start to have comebacks. So yeah. we were like, oh my gosh. I like to mess with her and make jokes and she finally started coming back at me with her jokes. <laughs> Normally it was like, okay. And now it's like, what do you want to do about that? Always so. getting kicked in the face. Always, <laughs> yes. Her, like I said before, her and Anna took the brunt yes, um, most a lot. Um, because a lot of they falls, were but they always caught and they were always they were always really good. Good. never yeah. let a girl hit the ground. No. So um, that, last but not least is Kaylee Noble. Kaylee got um, sick at the beginning of the year, which kind of held her back a little bit. Um, but she came back. She worked hard. Got caught back up. Um, 
did an amazing job. She was another one that always had a smile on her face. Um, couldn't be proud of Kaylee. So um, the awards for varsity are um, most enthusiasm, which everybody would guess on that one because when we sent out to get everybody's um, kind of like idea on who they thought was best, everybody came back um, with Skylar Holden. Um, Skylar, like I said, um, was always loud. You could hear her above everybody. We're going to miss her because it's going to be so quiet. Um, and um, we're going to want her to come back um, and cheer us on and everything. Um, but Skylar Holden got um, most enthusiasm. Um, most adaptable. This is somebody we could put anywhere we wanted to put. She would go with it. Didn't complain. Um, worked really well with others. Um, they do front spot, rock spot, base, walkers, tumble, jump. Literally did every position in cheerleading and did it well, very well. Yes. Um, so our most adaptable is Abby Dyche. Um, and um, the beginning of the year, she would be doing a walkover and a basketball player. And we're like, just do it. Yeah, finish just it out. Knock them out of the so. way. And she never would. I was like, just. Just till the very down. end and then, and then she, she was like it. okay and she was so proud so most adaptable goes to abby dice like i said um the next award there's two awards uh but we put them together um it's best teamwork these two i think had a, they were a mental oh connection they were um, telepathic. no matter what one did the other would do it just the exact same yeah. way um there were some times where we wanted to have a V in the front of a dance and we couldn't decide which one we wanted and we even had the girls were like, okay, which one do you think is doing it better? They would say it's Thai and then we would just say things with up it. so quickly. Yes. We had them show other girls, teach other girls how to do it. They were just in sync constantly and worked together amazing. They they are just um, two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. So our best teamwork goes to Anna Bryan and Lily Nichols. So, um, these congrats like, everybody. Yes, and like we said, um, these girls, I I enjoyed this year. Pretty much one of my best. Yeah, um, great year. job on an amazing season. Nobody yes. really considers how much goes into learning how to stunt, but you guys all picked it up really, really quickly, and we couldn't be more proud. And you all showed season. everybody what true cheerleading was, yeah. um, and we really appreciate that. Um, that's all for our awards. Uh, we hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your time off. Um, we miss you guys tremendously. Cannot wait to get us all together again and see what you guys have come up with. Um, keep have working week hard week. and we will see you, um, I guess, season. when school starts. Yeah, have, have a good a break. break. Have a good break. Thank you. JV and freshman boys basketball coach, Mr. Eric Schaefer. Hello, this is Coach Schaefer. As you can see from behind me, I am socially distancing while I am doing this virtual banquet. I want to start this banquet uh, with a few thank yous. I want to thank Mr. Wallace and Mrs. Murphy for their support and trust during the year. I want to thank the school board and administrators administration for their support and vote of confidence. I want to thank, thank you to Rachel Meyer and Lisa Jakeway who kept the scorebook for all home and away games. Uh, thank you to the Nobles, Chad and Angie for keeping the clock. A 5 p.m. start is early and tough to get to. Also keeping the clock you have to have tough skin and not worry about what the crowd is saying. Thank you to the Pep Band and Mrs. St. Clair for playing at the games. Thank you to Connie Snyder and the cheerleaders for their undying support through the good times and not so good times. Thank you to the families who donated food to the hospitality room. I am very grateful for that. Thank you for the bus drivers for getting us to and from away games safely and in a timely manner. I would also like to thank my wife and family 
who support me uh, during the season, it is not always easy. If I forgot somebody, it is not on purpose, but thank you. One la last thank you is to the parents for getting your son to practice in on time and picking them up, for putting up with all my practice changes, and for most importantly, for allowing you to coach, allowing me to coach your son. Starting with the freshman team. We started with eight players at the beginning of the season, but after a week or two of practice, it dwindled down to six. And in the middle of the season, we lost another, putting us down to five. So as in past years, we've asked some of the sophomores to play a quarter of freshman basketball. So I'd like to thank Tyler, Andon, and Kelston for stepping up and helping out when needed. As in the past years, the wins in middle school were few and far between. So the biggest challenges in coaching this team is to get them to a position to win and then teaching them that they can win. But with that said, the freshman team had an overall record of two and 12. But they were mostly competitive and learned the hard way how turnovers, bad shots, or easing up on defense can cost you the game. But it, with each loss, you can see their confidence growing, their basketball skills improving for each and every one of them. I wish I could give the entire team the most improved trophy award. They improved so much from the beginning of November 1st to the end of the season. I look forward to see what they can do next year as JV or varsity players. Now let's meet the team. AJ Attinger. Jonas Jakeway, Logan Kingus, Ethan Fancook, Jamie Holden, and Austin Snyder. As you saw, that he, uh, he played in a couple freshman games, but he was a key part of our freshman team. I have two individual awards for the freshmen. The most improved player. This player started out the season in a new position, one that he was not real com comfortable with. But he was able to learn and understand what was needed. He asked me how to get better and what he needed to do to play JV. This award was voted on by his peers, and I agree, as long, along with Coach DJ, this was his easy win. This year's most improved player on the freshman team is Ethan Fancook. Rocket Award. This was the year's team's leading rebounder, the team's leading scorer, and was able to play multiple positions. He also excels in the classroom. This year's Rocket Award goes to Jonas Jakeway. Now I'll turn it over to the JV coach. As you can see, I am also the JV coach for the fifth year in a row. I have pulled double duty, uh, as like I said, for five years, and I love it. This year's JV team was made up of players with various levels of experience, with three players who hadn't played organized basketball in a few years or ever, some who only played freshman ball, and a couple who had some JV experience from last year. This year's team had an overall record of three and 17, two and 12 in the league. We didn't have a great year, but we had a lot of fun and we got along well. All right, so this year's team, Timmy Allender, the team's leading scorer and leading three point shooter. Austin Attinger played only one quarter or two quarters, depending on the needs for the varsity. Brian Bowler, a constant teammate and always positive no matter what ever happened. Connor Holden played one or two quarters for JV based on what the varsity's needs were, but gave 100% when he was in the game. Tyler Tippis. Tyler is full of energy and really never seems to get tired. He is one of the few players on the team that likes to play defense, and he's also the team's primary ball handler. 
and in down was one of the team's outside three-point threats and played multiple positions. A.J. Attinger, back at point guard to Tyler and always played five quarters each night. Four, three in JV, or three in freshman and two in JV. Jonas Jakeway, back up to Austin Snyder. He usually had one JV quarter to play, but no matter what the score situation, he always wanted in. Kelston Drake, hasn't played basketball in a few years, but gave 100% of practice and in the games. He has unlimited three-point range. Jason Snyder, a new face to the program. He quickly learned the drills and the plays and played multiple positions. But he fell ill to the flu and knee injuries at the end of the season and missed several games. Tanner Fleming, new to the program as well. Just an athlete with, with lots of raw talent. Austin Snyder, a really, our team's really only post threat. You always counted on Austin to get every rebound and to clean up all our mistakes when we, we tried to full court press. The Ripley game is a good example. Three fouls in the first quarter took us out of any game plan that we had. Logan Kingus, usually had one quarter every night, gave 100% when he was in the game. Ethan Fancook, as well had one quarter JV every night and gave 100% no matter how much he played. Jamie Holden, as well had one quarter each night and then and gave 100% when he was in the game. I had three individual awards to pass out on the JV team. The first award, most improved player. I believe this year's choice was easy. I believe everybody will agree with, with the choice. This player gave 100% all the time. I did not believe I ever had to, add, had to ask him whether he was giving 100%. He may have not known exactly what he was giving 100% doing, and of that, <clears throat> but he always gave it his all. I told him several times that I was going to make him into a basketball player before the season ended. I'm not exactly sure I was able to do that, but he may disagree with me. This year's Most Valuable Player Award goes to Tanner Fleming. Rocket Award. This player always demonstrates what it means to be a team player. He is always positive and uplifting. He is willing to do whatever is needed to win. He is willing to play multiple positions, and he did. At the end of the year, he missed a few games because of an injury, and he was solely missed. This year's Rocket Award goes to Brian Bowler. The good thing about technology is do-overs. I have one last award for the JV team, the most valuable player. This award goes to the team's leading scorer. He started the season out slow, but as the season went on, his confidence grew, and he played more and more, which was able to translate into points. He's one of the team's leading three-point shooters. This year's most valuable player goes to Timmy Allender. One last thought before I turn it over to Coach DJ. I would like to say thank you to Coach DJ and his staff for keeping me around this past year. This makes my 10th year coaching at Fayetteville. And with that said, I have decided to retire. I did not come to this decision easily and it has nothing to do with the kids or players. I love my daily interaction with the players and I love coaching. But with that said, all good things must come to an end. Thank you.
varsity boys basketball coach, Mr. DJ McCummins. Well, uh, welcome back, you know, Fayetteville. Can't believe it. Uh, year one is over for, you know, myself and the staff and our team. Um, crazy year, up and down. Um, we had a young team, you know, we only had one senior. Uh, I think we learned a lot about ourselves. I know the coaching staff, we learned a lot. Uh, and to say we enjoyed every second is an understatement, but we enjoyed it all um, because the downs make you appreciate the ups um, even more. And the guys, I mean, I think they bought in every day to what we were trying to do. Um, and sadly, we didn't get to close the year on the banquet. Uh, obviously, a lot of people know the stuff that's going on um, with COVID and it makes it tough um, because, you know, seniors, you don't get to uh, celebrate it as you would like. Um, but just know um, the future's bright. You can't get much worse than this um, than not being able to do some things that you want to do. But just know it gets better. Um, so with that being said, we couldn't do the banquet. Uh, so came here, obviously missed this place and the ball bouncing. Um, came here to do the video. And first... I would like to say, um, proud of the team. Uh, I thought we had a lot of good things, saw a lot of good growth, um, and super excited from our lessons from year one that'll help with year two. Uh, and so we have four awards we're gonna give away. Uh, we're gonna give away most approved, uh, best defensive player of the year, team MVP, and rocket award. Um, and We'll kind of explain a little bit as we go through each of them, but it'll be cool. So bear with me. Um, first award is um, most approved. And I think this guy earned most improved and all of our awards are voted on teammates. It, it, he's most improved because as you saw earlier in the year, uh, he may not have played many minutes or certain games, if any minutes. Um, but one thing that I know is he came to practice with a great attitude, great work ethic kept trying to get better, kept learning. Um, didn't ask as many questions, but you know, I think he's learning that. If you ask questions, you'll get good answers or we'll help you figure it out. Um, and once you figure it out, you're gonna earn some more playing time and such. Um, but the most improved, like I said, voted on the teammates was Mr. Austin Adinger. Um, congratulations. Uh, you earned it, you did. Uh, and I, I, there's no other way around it, I mean, we went from playing no minutes to in the tournament to the last couple of games of the year, playing a ton of minutes, even starting the games. Uh, but that just shows your true dedication um, to your hard work, to your craft, and to the team uh, because you could have easily given up. But, you know, I don't know how you kept fighting through it, but people can learn a lot from a guy like Austin Adger. Keep working, keep working hard, and when your time comes, take advantage of it. Um, so I thought that was really awesome. Ooh. Second award um, is going to be Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, it was pretty much a sweep um, on this one, and I think everybody can guess it. And my guy locked down a ton of people, a ton of best players who were averaging 20. When we played them, they scored less than 10. Um, he just made it tough, rebounding, deflecting. He just did it all on the defensive end. And uh, that award winner, um, again, voted on teammates is uh, uh, Jaden Bradshaw. Um, so you're gonna ask why it's blank. I told the guy that I didn't really like you much. Um, so he left it blank, which I thought was cool of him to respect what I say. Just kidding. They spelled your name wrong, rookie mistake I know. Um, so yours will be coming with your name on it, but just so you know, that's why it's blank. Um, because Coach DJ doesn't like you. Just kidding. Um, next up is team MVP uh, it, this guy is the epitome of what we want our program to be hardworking um, committed good teammate um, just looking to get better great person overall because I think that a lot of people miss out on athletics when they are not a great person if you're a great person you're a great teammate uh, you can be great in athletics, and great athletics don't mean that you're the best player on the team. It doesn't mean you're the worst player on the team. It just means that you are for the team. And for teams like ourselves uh, to be successful, we have to be together. So I think it's important that um, 
we recognize the team MVP, uh, our lone senior who we're going to miss, I'm going to miss. I know myself and the other coaches are blessed that we were able to take over the program with our point guard being our senior. Um, so our one senior is number 21, Christopher Murphy. Um, they spelled your name right, uh, but I don't really like you either anymore, I guess, you know, because you're an adult now. So that's what you told me. I guess you're an adult. Um, but super proud of you. Um, crazy um, that, you know, new coaching staff, totally different. Um, trying to change the culture and you just bought into your hard work and who you are as a core of a person. Um, so it's for sure appreciated. So team MVP voted by all your teammates. There was not another person voted, it was you. Um, so that's a testament to who you are. And last but not least is our Rocket Award. And that consists of our uh, core values. So perseverance, um, integrity, enthusiasm. Um, commitment um just service uh just all of it you know um and just in the end being a, a great person and a great teammate and uh this was voted on the team and you know it wasn't a landslide but it i think a lot of people could have won this award um but i think just with our team and their buy-in to you know enjoying every second especially for this person because this was it for him um and uh, he just committed himself to the process. Uh, and fun fact, he only he made it to more things than I did. So at the end of the year, I got sick one day. I missed one day. He didn't miss one day from when we started after Labor Day. Uh, every workout, every practice, he was there working his butt off, um, getting better. And I just told him that, like, if you commit yourself, you're going to get better. And I know sometimes we push him outside of his comfort zone, which he's not really talkative. He's just hardworking. Um, he just wants to work. But I know that I saw growth there through uh, just, you know, getting on him and investing in him and, you know, just having him speak up because in life sometimes you have to speak up for yourself or people just kind of walk over you. So just trying to build things for his future. Um, but the guys are hardworking. He's awesome to be around. Um, and that award went to our lone senior again, Christopher Murphy. Um, so sweat, he got two awards. Um, so congratulations to Austin Eininger, Jaden Bradshaw, and Chris. Um, if you didn't get an award, it doesn't mean that you weren't really important. Uh, as you'll know, and as we'll keep fighting for it, is it's about the team. Um, these people just did do certain things, you know, a little better than others, and that's okay. Um, but we have years to come. And like I said, we're gonna keep fighting for the team and uh, keep learning and make sure you keep working out, keep getting better in everything that you do, not just sports. Uh, and as always, go Rockets. JV girls basketball coach, Miss Tori Rummel. Hello, Coach Rummel here to talk about our JV season, Lady Rockets 2019-2020. And here to help me today is fellow coach Russ Ward and also fellow coach Toby Sheets, the one and only Toby Sheets, everybody. So, first of all, I'm really sorry to all the athletes for this being your athletic banquet. I hate this for you all, and I know you are missing just a little bit of your high school memories and basketball memories with this. But keep in mind, there is a silver lining. You get to spend time with your family, and I'm thinking about you all. Just a quick recap on our roster. We had freshman Sarah Wuffer. Freshman, Faith Russello. Freshman, Autumn Steele. Sophomore, Hannah Polston. Sophomore, Delaney Combs. Junior, Shelby Crone. Junior, Kelby Craig. Junior, Allie Whitley. And junior, Cora Hansel. 
They were good, right, Coach? Mm, yeah. Just a quick review of our season. So, unfortunately, due to multiple league schools not being able to have a JV team, we got shorted quite a few games. We actually were only able to play 15 games for the season, and a few of those were only two-quarter games. So with that, we finished our season nine wins and six losses. You know, I feel like that record doesn't really reflect the hard work of the team and the hard work that the girls put in. You know, from start to finish, they showed up. They came in early for practices. They stayed after to go through drills and run through plays, and I appreciate all their dedication. Although we struggled to score, scoring only 383 points for the season, which was just an average of 25 points per game, our defense was our strength, and we were able to walk away with 141 steals and pull down a huge 395 rebounds. What do you think about that, Coach Ward? He likes it. I know each of these ladies are capable of big things, and I look forward to seeing so much more from them in the future. Wrapping it up, I would like to give out three very special awards and also do a few thank yous. Thank you first to the players. Like I said, your dedication was huge. And also to the families for the support throughout the season. It's a long season, and to support these kids is huge. The school board for continuing to give me the opportunity to coach as my passion continues to grow. I appreciate you always giving me that opportunity each year. To the men's coaches for the generous gym time and congratulations on your first season at Fayetteville. Welcome aboard. Thank you also to administration, both Principal Wallace, Superintendent Collier for your support throughout the season. Thank you to Mrs. Sharon Sheets for always being an amazing gym boss, making sure everything runs smoothly. Mrs. Murphy for your outstanding service as athletic director. To Jerry Smith for always keeping my book so meticulous that no one else can do it as perfectly as you, even when I bring it to you in pieces and shreds because a dog chewed it up. Sorry, I'll do better next time. Lastly, but certainly not least, a huge thank you to Coach Toby Sheets and Coach Shelby Sheets, who couldn't be here tonight, and Coach Russ Ward. I feel blessed to be able to coach with them for the last 15 seasons. Together, these two have over 70 years of basketball experience, and I'm in constant awe when I'm in their presence, and I just get to soak all of their basketball knowledge in. And I definitely don't take it for granted. I know how blessed I am to have them as mentors. So now I have three special awards to give out. First, for our leading rebounder, though she's not the biggest on the team, Delaney Combs. With 28 offensive rebounds and a total of 87 rebounds for the season. Delaney Combs, this one's for you. Also, our leading scorer with 77 season points from the post, sophomore Hannah Polston. You win this one. You worked hard. Then last but not least, our special award goes to Cora Hansel for leading the team with 37 steals. Defense, strong point. I appreciate your hard work. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. Hello everybody, this is Coach Sheets. I want to take this opportunity to recognize the varsity girls basketball team. We had Preston, Faith Russlow, Sarah Wolfer, Ann Murphy was our starting point guard, averaged 12 points a game, had 100 steals and 65 assists, which led the team. She also led the team in free throw percentage with 70%. Another freshman, Cassidy Fellhouse, was our sixth man, seen a bunch of minutes this season, able to play multiple positions, debatably our best defender. Sophomores, 
Hannah Polston, Delaney Cohn, Maddie Brockman was our starting forward, has a real knack for anticipating steals and rebounds. Proud to say she was our second leading rebounder this season with 168 rebounds. Scored a season high 10 points with a win over Georgetown in the tournament. Another sophomore, Olivia Crawford, the starting guard, has some outstanding moves with the basketball. Is able to split defenders easily when driving to the basket. Has become an excellent three-point shooter, leading the team with 32 made three-pointers. And led the team with 33% shooting from the three-point line. Second on the team in free throw percentage with 67%. Led the team in scoring with 14.7 points a game. Now has 785 points in her career. Named to the All-SHAC team. Juniors, Cora Hansel, Kelby Craig, Kelby Kaufman was a starting forward. I feel Kelby had a solid season for us this year. Led the team in two-point shooting percentage with 42%. 31% three-point shooter, 67% from the free throw line. Scored 213 points, which is an average of nine points a game. Had 117 rebounds. Our lone senior this year is Taylor Malone, the starting center. Had 203 rebounds, which led the team. She moved to our eighth best rebounder in school history with a total of 591. Scored 200 points, which is 8.7 a game. 35% two-point shooter. Was named to the Brown County Holiday Tournament team and C-103 All-Star team. This year's special awards go to leading scorer to Olivia Crawford, 338 points. Leading in steals, Ann Murphy with 100. Leading rebounder, Taylor Malone, 203. Leading free throw percentage, Ann Murphy, 70%. Thank you. This concludes our 2019-2020 Winter Sports Awards. Thanks to all of our coaches for all their hard work and dedication to Fayetteville Perry Athletics. I would also like to thank my husband and my family for their support throughout this season. And last but certainly not least, best wishes to our 2020 seniors. And as always, go Rockets!